Another big ballot drop has narrowed the race for who will be in the runoff election for Denver's mayor. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Denver 7 News at 6. I'm Ann Trujillo. And I'm Jessica Porter. A majority of the ballots have been counted. Mayoral candidate Mike Johnston currently has the most votes and will likely make the runoff. However, the race for second place, it just got a little tighter. Let's get straight to our team coverage on this election and how funding helped decide those top candidates. Let's start with Denver 7's Tony Kowaleski, who's been digging into the results. So what are you learning here, Tony? Yeah, and Jessica, we've been on the phone and texting with the Calderon camp since that numbers came in at 5 o'clock. And they say they still see a path to victory. Let's take you inside the numbers, and this is again for second and third to make the runoff. It's clear that Mike Johnson is going to be in that runoff. 5 p.m. vote drop shows Kelly Bruff with 30,850 votes. Lisa Calderon, 25,956. A difference of 4,894. So how do you get to that path to victory? Let's talk about the remaining votes to count. And that will show you that 25,596 votes are left to be counted. So with a nearly 5,000 vote difference, that path to victory is difficult, but again, the Calderon camp says they're still not out of it. Let's bring in our expert here, Kwame Spearman. You were one of the 17 on the ballot. You've helped us with the insight. What's your reaction when you hear the Calderon camp say they still see a path to making that runoff? So I was here yesterday and we talked about Lisa's strategy that her voters tend to vote late, the last 48 hours of the race. That's proven to be true but it doesn't look like enough. There are only about 23% of the vote is going to Lisa in the new batches. She's gonna to have to do much better than that. 30%, 35% of the remaining votes. If she doesn't get that, she's gonna finish third place again. Let's give credit where credit's due. We talked about money yesterday and Johnson and Bruff, the clear money winners as far as bringing in support. Calderon on the other side, not even in the top five, but here she is at six o'clock, the day after the ballots closed, the, the, the ballots are being counted, and she's still in it. What's that say? I, I think Lisa had an incredibly clear message during the campaign, and that message resonated with a lot of people, about 26,000 votes right now. And if you have a clear message and you clearly articulate it, you don't need the same money that other candidates have shown that they needed. Kwame, thank you. And, and, and Jessica, what we heard from the Calderon camp is that they see a lot of the ballots coming in from District 8 and District 9. They see that as their sweet spot, and they are hoping that these last 25,000 votes can get it even closer. So, Tony, I think a lot of people are wondering when will we have final numbers so that we can then start looking to the runoff. Also talk to the clerk's office within the past half hour and what they tell us, and, and we're watching those numbers. They say that they're going to continue counting tonight, tomorrow morning. They will have the 175,000 ballots counted by 2 o'clock tomorrow, so we'll have more of an official number. But again, there's curing of ballots and issues sure. that will continue for several days, but we're going to know more tomorrow. Definitely. All right, Tony, thanks. The suspense continues. Yeah.